The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Enu Tavi here, and today we're going to take a look at Valiverse Action Force Desert Steel Brigade from Series 4. This is Series 4, Trooper 4. Uh, I want to say thank you to Valiverse for, uh, they made an error on the shipping, and it was a thing with a desert condor, and I received an extra one of these. They contacted me, and they said, uh, yeah, well, I contacted them and said, hey, there's a mistake here. Oh, just keep this one. We'll send you the condor out. So, got two so really appreciate that it was pretty cool i would have sent it back not a big deal but uh you know that that actually means a lot i think i've mentioned this before but pretty cool so this is the uh steel brigade desert version and getting all these desert treats really makes you want to get the vanguard in desert tan i got it in gray so that's why i'm thinking maybe i'll end up getting another one but got it here on the plastic uh bubble here the cards are pretty thick uh you can see that not a flimsy card we'll flip around to the back See Desert Condor. I've done videos so far on Condor, Urban Commando, and the Swarm Tracer. This is BBTS. Still haven't said anything on this yet, so I don't know what the deal is. Hopefully, whenever they get their stock, they'll send it on out. Uh, got your card here. Got your two points. Uh, classify 18B through F Special Forces. So, uh, what is that? Uh, weapons is B, C is Engineer, D is... Medical, E is communications, F is intelligence. I always thought engineers and intelligence were cool. So, uh, but yeah, you got all this in the 5Q Pathfinder, uh, you know, all the stuff from the jump schools and stuff like that. Pretty cool card. I like that. They do a card in a stand, so that's my biggest peeves about classified that they don't do. So, really like that they do that. Uh, and then you got your barcode, all that good stuff. Curious to see what they're going to do with two points here. Uh, it's going to be interesting i've got a lot of points starting to build up so uh hope it'll be something pretty neat maybe it'll be uh something that ties into the vanguard that would be kind of awesome but yeah that's it for the packaging that's it for uh what you see on the back let's open it up and take a look at the figure itself all right first off we'll start off with the stand we've got four pegs here in the desert tan love the stands uh you know it'd be cool if you know i <laughs> I don't, know, why, I don't know if this is just a fake memory or something. I could have swore I saw like a stand with like a um, like a desert, you know, floor in here. Not the maybe not action force, but like this is all dirt and ground or something. Maybe I'm just making that up, but I feel like I've seen that. That would be like a cool thing, and you could you know have different uh, like uh, terrain and stuff like that. Mountainous desert, city street rubble, stuff like that. You can still incorporate the logo. But I feel like I've seen that. But here's the sand. Pretty cool. You know what I think about those. Got six hands. This is kind of the standard affair. I don't know what you technically call these hands. But we've got uh, hold your rifle underneath hands with the gloves. Got that. We've got um, two kind of grasping hands. Still don't know. Somebody fill me on the technical names. <laughs> and then two punching hands or fists. So I got that. And then in the packaging, we've got the trusty Scar FN. We've got EOTech on it. Magpul flip downs. We've got grenade launcher on the bottom. Magazine comes out. That looks like a Magpul to me. Plug it in. Looks good. Desert tan. Um, yeah, it's a Scar. Uh, sturdy plastic. Nice detail in there. Uh, you starting to see that. I, I saw it at the shot show. There's a, one of these in a 12 gauge shotgun. So that's actually impressive. <laughs> I don't know. Never really liked stock, but uh, good looking weapon. Looks pretty accurate. And uh, you can plug the effects on it. So like that. It would be cool if like this slit, you know, you could you had like grenade rounds or something, but even got, you know, a lot of detail in there. So looks pretty good. Let's bring in the figure. He's also got some, uh, some stuff on him. So, uh, He's got, you know, magazines here in the pouch. Here comes with two of those. In my first video, I didn't realize these come out. I thought they were just molded in. I was more impressed that 
actually come out. This is called a medical pouch here on the side of the first aid kit. Uh, we got a knife here in the back. I forget what the name of this knife is. I saw Bobby talk about it uh, on his channel when he was showing the, uh, the you know, I don't know, not a review, but tour of like the new headquarters. I forget what the name of it is. If you know what it is, put in the comments. I'm looking for one myself. Uh, you know, something smaller, I think, than this, but uh, pretty cool looking blade there. Got that in the back. And then flipping around here, we've got pistol, desert tan. Let's see what we got. We've got the uh, the Maxim 9mm. Not really a fan of this gun. I get it. Um, just I'm not really a fan of it. But I do like the desert tan. So, yeah, he's got all the uh, all the desert tan, nice boots, got knee pads, got the gloves, uh, kit on there. He's got some wear on the back here. Uh, plug right there for a backpack or whatever. Uh, let's see. And then you got the head with the gold visor. Now, this is like the first uh, Steel Brigade figure. I just recently got a bunch of the older figures in a big lot, so I haven't gone through. I'm going to actually go back and do videos on all those. Uh, Cause it'd be kind of a fresh experience. I don't have any, you know, experience with them previously, but yeah, you can look down, you can look up pretty good right there. Or take side to side. Uh, it's got a butterfly, that bicep rotation right there. Double elbow, yeah. tight, tight, tight. <laughs> Rotate the hands. Uh, if you know where that's from, good for you. But yeah, it's a little chilly here today. Uh, but you know, I just opened the package on that, so we'll, we'll work on that. Uh, and we've got abdominal waist rotation. Ab crunch is is not too bad with this whole vest on. To be honest with you, uh, we've got like a lower belt. Would have been cool to have uh, some stuff hanging off that, but uh, you know, I get it. A lot of pouches here. We've got a uh, one of those knives, you know what I'm talking about. One of those We've got the uh, Steel Brigade logo there. We've got some chem lights. Leg can go up, leg can go to the side and rotate on the thigh. Double knee. Let's see what's going to happen. There we go. Double knee, get it on up. Boot rotation, got boot print. Really like that. I, you know, that's a, a really stupid thing, really, to be honest with you, for me to worry about but i think it's cool it as to the realism that you actually see the print of boots a lot of toy makers and this is in general when they do the bottom of the shoes you never see you don't see this a lot you see some but a lot, most of them are just flat so I, I'd, I'd like that attention to detail so uh you know and yeah and it got drop down hips i don't know if i pointed that out boots look pretty good wrapped up everything's blasted up tight in there Looking good. So, yeah. Yeah, I can see, you know, Army build. You know, there's a, a different head, I think, for somewhere along the line. They did a different version of a head. I'm not sure. Like, being so new to it, it's a lot of stuff I don't know about this line. But the figures feel really good. You know, if you haven't, and I, I say this to anybody about anything, uh, whether you like it or you don't have a good impression or from anything, if you have not, just bought one and put one in hand. Do it. Same thing I, I, I said with AWOC. You don't realize the quality until you take it out of the box and feel it. And it's it's good quality. So definitely check it out. Uh, you know, I think it's a little bit of a different take. I don't try to like say this is like alternative to Joe or anything like that. To me, this is what I want for a more realistic type military figure. So, you know, mileage may vary for everybody, but I'm enjoying this line so far. Um, and I can't wait to see what they do. The vehicle has really got me excited, so I can't wait to get one of those. But there it is, the Desert Steel Brigade. Uh, they still have these available. You can check them out on the site. I have no connection with any of that. It's just I use the shop app, and that works really good for me. If you're watching this, you don't have the shop app. I don't get anything from it, but I'm just telling you, this is a Cato, you know, smart me up on this. The shop app if you download it it will track all your purchases there's a lot of stores through the shop app it makes it just really easier to have it all in one thing you can link your amazon your different accounts and everything's under one thing 
So if you're like me, you get a bunch of stuff in, you don't want to go to all the emails, all the websites, do that, connect your accounts, and you got it all on one app. It really makes a difference. So there it is, Desert Steel Brigade. Thank you for watching the video. If you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button. You help out the channel. I really would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.